Hey everyone, today I've got your A Wrinkle in Time movie review. The girl joins some friends and magical characters on a quest to another world to find her missing father. What will the outcome of this movie be? So as far as the story goes, Ava DuVernay directs this Disney remake based off of the Madeline Lengel book by the same name. Now, first off, I'd like to mention I did not read the book, or if I did, it was a long time ago and I just don't remember reading it at all, probably when I was a kid, and I especially did not see the original movie. I don't really want to compare both things. This movie I felt like coming from Ava DuVernay who I admire as a director and being a female director at that taking on this project I felt like she crafted uh, a story that was really inspiring and it contained all of these different messages that I felt like you could actually bring home after seeing this movie and t talk about it with your family so it definitely seems very discuss discussion oriented and you could really live by some of these hidden messages. Some of the things that I picked up on in this movie was that there was a message of sacrificing anything for your family in order to discover the truth about, you know, the universe and even self-acceptance while facing your inner demons. So you have this one girl in the movie who faces a lot of challenges and, you know, she's this little girl who is a genius and she definitely is outspoken, has a lot of uh, issues with certain people, or people have issues with her because maybe they don't exactly get her, but there's nothing wrong with being unique and ordinary. And, you know, I kind of felt bad for this girl in this movie because she might seem weird, but she certainly had a voice and one that was very powerful at that. So as far as the casting goes, you've got Storm Reed, who is a newcomer, uh, actress and at least uh, I don't recall seeing any movies with her in them so to see her in this movie playing Meg uh, she at first wasn't my favorite choice of an actress in this movie but I have no doubt that you know in time she will you know come into her own and she'll get more roles that are more suited for her and I felt like with the other star power in this movie, you've got Reese Witherspoon, Mindy Kaling, and even Oprah Winfrey playing the magical beings, Mrs. What's It, Mrs. Who, and Mrs. Witch. And although I had one issue with Oprah's character, because one of the first lines that comes out of her mouth is something that I feel like is a slight mention to, uh, you know, she sort of playing off the whole size issue and I was thinking really you had to put that in there because girl you look great. I also loved seeing Chris Pine in this movie and he plays Meg's dad and I just thought he gave a pretty emotional performance and very well done acting here. Guma Batra, Levi Miller who plays uh, this one boy who uh, comes along on the journey but Derek McCabe, I'm sorry, he was a very annoying character in this movie. Just could not stand him whatsoever. And then you've also got Zach Galifianakis and Michael Pena, who unfortunately were wasted cameos in this movie because I just, I wasn't as impressed with their characters at all. The things that I liked about this movie was that while I did enjoy some of the visuals, it really wasn't saying much because they could have utilized them a whole lot better and they freaking shot this movie in New Zealand. What's better than that? Do I need to go back to watching Lord of the Rings to know how good those visuals were? And that cinematography? Because that all seemed like green screen in this movie. So going off of that, the things that I didn't really like about this movie was that it was just CGI overload. I don't know if that's how it was in the original movie, but for me, I just felt like it was too much. There were a lot of boring scenes that had me scratching my head as to what was going on because a lot of it just seemed really random and I didn't really know what the heck was going on half the time. But the soundtrack, I was shocked at how there were all these random songs placed in the movie and then they would just go away. And I'm just thinking, oh, am I supposed to listen to those and maybe they'll mean something for the entirety of the film? 
I don't know, it just was really weird to me. So overall, I would say that while this movie, you know, had its faults, and yes, it is also kind of a message in this movie, like, it's okay to have faults, but I really did not enjoy myself watching this movie, and I was looking to be entertained in this movie, and I really was not. So I'm kind of on the fence about recommending it to you guys, but you've just been warned that it might not be exactly like what you expected. And I had zero expectations before seeing this movie. So I would give this two hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of A Wrinkle in Time. How does this compare to the original? And how does this also compare to the book? And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.